So the big news topic continues to be COVID-19, particularly now that Delta variant. The Delta variant is the most infectious respiratory disease. This Delta variant results in viral titers about a thousand times higher. The highly transmissible Delta variant. I'm joined by Dr. Pyle Coley. I'm looking for just some clarity about the Delta variant, um, how this particular variant works and, you know, does it really spread as easily? We're now hearing as easily as chickenpox. Yeah, so the Delta variant is essentially a mutated version of the original virus. And what the virus did is it started to get smarter with every generation, every time it replicated. So the original virus, if you caught that, you were likely to infect two to three other people. With the Delta variant, if if you catch that, you're likely to infect five to eight other people. So it's substantially more contagious than the original virus. What we're also learning is that not only is it more contagious, it's more likely to make you sicker because the virus is smarter. It makes more copies of itself inside of you. So it's also more likely to end you up in the hospital. And that combination of those two factors spreading more easily, causing exponential growth and ending you up in the hospital is what has us really worried. Okay. So then what does this variant mean for vaccinated people versus unvaccinated people? You know, unfortunately, this new information from the CDC that a vaccinated person can spread the variant as efficiently as an unvaccinated person is a bit of a step back for everybody in their fight in the pandemic. And it means those masks have to come back on until more of the population gets vaccinated, ideally, you know, as close to 100% as possible, except for those people that have medical exceptions. Because the, the problem now is that if I, as a vaccinated person, take my mask off and I get infected with the Delta variant, I could be spreading it to others. And that's the new piece of information that's really emerged that's making us change our behavior when it comes to masking. Could there be more variants ahead? There absolutely can be. And I hate to say that, but we've already got alpha, beta, delta, gamma, epsilon, and the alphabet goes on and on and on. And in fact, by partially vaccinating the population, we're sort of giving the virus an advantage because we're teaching it what it needs to do to outsmart the vaccination, but still allowing it to have hosts that are unvaccinated to start to replicate and become smarter in. So we're really putting evolutionary pressure on the virus to start to outsmart us. And the only way that we can stop more variants from emerging is to really increase the rate of vaccination to as close to 100% as possible. Because as the virus keeps dividing, it is going to get new variants. And the biggest concern is that we're just a few mutations away from having a variant that the vaccine doesn't work against. And then we start all over at the beginning. So with this, if vaccinated people can in fact spread this Delta variant, if a vaccinated person has been exposed to someone with COVID, do they still need to quarantine? Are there policies in place or is it kind of up to the doctors, health departments in your area? Well, you know, I don't think the CDC has come out with an official policy yet, but as a physician myself, if I have a patient now, given how much Delta there is in our community, even if they're fully vaccinated, I would tell them to quarantine themselves for the entire incubation period, because now we learned that they can still spread it to others, even if they're vaccinated, protected, and you know don't develop clinically significant infection. So prior to this, the CDC wasn't even recommending um, you know, isolation or quarantine or recommending testing really, even for those that are fully vaccinated. But now that we've learned that we can still spread it as fully vaccinated people, I think that that guidance has to change. Well, I want to thank you so much for your time. This definitely provided some needed clarity about that Delta variant we keep hearing about. My pleasure and stay safe and take care.